What's good, y'all? <laughs> New Year, same shenanigans. What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Denny, and welcome to 2019 in Wonder World. Oh, a whole month late. So, yeah. I kind of fell off the face of the YouTube map for a little bit, you know. Things happen. End of the year is always crazy. So, um, I decided to just, my first, you know, for my first video back on YouTube, I decided for it to be a kind of let's get caught up type deal. So, let's talk about what happened since I was away. If you guys hear that song in the background, it is called Spaceship and Rockets by Bass with Lion Babe featuring Mo Mooks and Moma Guy, Moma Plus Guy. It was on Wonder Mix Volume 3. But um, you guys can check out Wonder Mix Volume 5 in the description bar. And you can check it out on Spotify or YouTube. Ooh, diversity for your behinds. Before I get too far gone in this video, I do want to touch on my lipstick. And it is from Maybelline's Made For All collection. It's a very new line. And there are seven shades so far. And basically the Made For All line is formulated to look flawless on all skin tones. So um, these lipsticks were actually tested on 50 different women, 50 different skin tones basically. And it was determined that they look flawless on all of them. So that is the Made For All claim to fame with this line so far. I am loving this one. This one is called Ruby For Me actually. And I was actually kind of hesitant at first because bright reds. I don't know what it is with me and bright reds y'all but usually bright reds just look kind of crazy on me but I really like the way this one looks I don't think the lighting does it justice but you guys can always go to my Instagram and see but or actually I'll pop a picture up somewhere but I love it so far you can get all seven shades at Walgreens so affordable accessible beautiful for everybody okay so what went down um, with vlogmas what happened to vlogmas so basically it was just things were just going and going and going so crazy last month that well December that I mean I just I was more so just trying to enjoy everything as it came so I just kind of lacked on vlogmas but I enjoyed doing vlogmas though and doing all the fun things that I got to do with my mom and everything like that was fun and the funny thing is it's like that's not anything out of character for us like that wasn't stuff that we were just doing just for vlogmas that's stuff that we do anyway so it's you know it's 10 times more fun to just to show you guys what is hilarious in my life so uh, vlogmas will be back this year in December obviously and you know I'll do better I'll do definitely do better this year but you know it was a fun experiment to do it was fun to just you know play away on with and have fun so I'm definitely gonna bring it back this year so no worries y'all have Wonder World and Vlogmas Vlogmas and Wonder World <laughs> all right so since I got y'all here let's talk about the Wonder Mix for this week real quickly so um this week's Wonder Mix Wonder Mix volume 5 like I said available on Spotify or YouTube and um all the artists or songs have been nominated for a Grammy. So that's just what our theme is for this week. And I'm not gonna do too many spoilers because spoilers are no fun. So you guys can check out in the description bar, Spotify or YouTube, whichever tickles your fancy. You can listen to the one mix there. Um, since I'm not gonna do like a video solely dedicated to January favor to January haul because I mean, I'm just gonna do it here so I'm just gonna talk about a couple of my few favorite things from January and the end of December all right so we're going to start with clothes first and I'm gonna talk about the fact that I have been living in joggers not for real for real but you know you, you get what I mean but um, I'm in love with my Stella Tweed joggers that I have I'll put a picture of them somewhere because I'm actually wearing them right now but I don't feel like getting up to actually show them to you on my body but I'll put a picture somewhere but I've been loving these Stella Tweed joggers they are so freaking comfortable I got them for Christmas and I love me some fatigue print y'all I just do my other favorite pair of joggers are these white light gray joggers 
They are Victoria's Secret Sport joggers. And I got them for Christmas as well. And they are just so freaking comfortable. They're like the most, one of the most comfortable pair of joggers I own. And I just, I'm in love, y'all, I'm in love. My next two clothing items are tops. And the first one you guys have seen before because it was in a video that I did previously. And it was this black top from Blooming Jelly. And I will post a picture of me in it around here somewhere, but I wore it for my birthday. And it's just such a comfortable top. It's comfortable, it's lightweight, breathable, but it's gorgeous. And you can dress it up, dress it down. And there's these little lace cold shoulder detailing on the shoulders. I'm just like, yeah, they're so pretty. My second top and last clothing favorite is this Stella Tweed pullover. And it looks like this. I don't know what you would describe this really nice material as but it almost like blank the underneath of a blanket material and I love it and it has a little hood I wore it when I went to Mobile um the first weekend in January and it's so comfortable and it was freezing down there too um but I had so much fun seeing my Mobile family and seeing my boyfriend and my boyfriend got to meet my grandparents and stuff because so I loved it it was so much fun it's a great trip the next favorites category I'm gonna go into is hair and if you guys can tell I took my locks out so I've been taking care of my natural hair so I actually went back to my roots as far as hair care and that is Pantene. So I have the Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal in the shampoo and I have the conditioner and I want to say they were $6.99 each at Walgreens and Walgreens has a um, $5 off coupon if you clip it or find it. For Pantene so you can buy two or more and you get five dollars off and so I got these two but I also got the three minute miracle Pro V repair in repair and protect and <laughs> it's a daily conditioner so I use this as a co-wash and I've been loving it it smells all of these products smell really good and this one was actually $4.99 but I really love these products. They make my hair feel clean, but I also make it feel nourished and they do not strip my hair of anything. So that's always great. And the price point is flawless. So why not? Okay, so let's talk smell good stuff. First of all, this Tower of Bath Bombs. I haven't used them yet because I'm in the middle of an eczema flare up right now and I don't want my skin to get any more irritated. So I haven't used them yet, but they smell so good. I got them for my birthday and there's three of them in here and they're huge so I'm gonna break them up anyway but they smell so good and they are ocean mist scented and I love them and the packaging is so cute. Alright so continuing on with the smell good stuff I've been into Kenneth Cole a lot lately so if you guys saw my unboxing video for the I literally can't box box if not I will link it in the description bar but in that box box I got the Kenneth Cole energy intensity and serenity trial sizes right here part of the um one of the Kenneth Cole for all collections and I've been loving pairing them up and like stacking them on top of each other and they last for a long time they smell amazing and I've just been loving them lately and I've also been loving my Kenneth Cole for her white body spray and I got this for my birthday y'all and I melted because I love it. My mama knows I love it. I've been jacking some of hers but y'all it just my life. <laughs> my next two smell goods were birthday gifts and from my mobile fam and I have Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction and I have the perfume and I have the body lotion and I just love these. I love them so much like Victoria's Secret is literally I love Victoria's Secret for their fragrances and for the longest time it's been fragrances only but I'm liking some of their clothes too like the joggers and some shirts but you know fragrances from Victoria's Secret they will always be my first VS love I don't care they will always be my first VS love no one will take them from me all right guys so let's talk about makeup you guys know I had to do it but um Profusion Cosmetics, I've been raging about their eyeshadow palettes ever since I discovered them in Target. Well, they discovered, well, not discovered, they released a bomb behind holiday collection. So there's a bunch of holiday palettes that I don't have yet, but I'm hoping I can get before they just completely go away. 
but um i haven't got those for yet but what i did get for my birthday and christmas is the ultra warm and the ultra cool eyeshadow palettes there are 35 multi finish shades in each eyeshadow palette and as you can see one is more warmer toned one is more cooler toned and they were they're in walgreens that's the only other place i've seen these um is walgreens but they may be at target but as far as for me here where i'm at, I'm at I've only seen them in Walgreens, but I'm in love with them. Their eyeshadow quality is amazing. They're not patchy and they're super blendable and I'm just, I'm in love, y'all. All right, so my last two um, makeup things are two lipsticks that are not Maybelline. <laughs> and um, the first one that I've been wearing a lot of is Wet n Wild's uh, Mega Last Lip Color in the shade Vamp It Up. So it's this dark purple um a lot of people call it a drugstore dupe for mac cyber and so i mean i love it i don't have cyber but i do have this and i do love it it is the perfect dark purple to me that eggplant purple deep beautiful but it does not stain your lips which is always always a love my last lipstick will not be a surprise to any of you guys that have been following me it is fenty beauty and it is a matte mademoiselle lipstick in the shade pms and I've been loving it ever since I got it, but I feel like I'm surprised that I have so much left because I use it so much. So two things that I have that are on my favorites list that I don't have with me because I'm completely out of. One is the Kadale Von Pure um, Skin Perfecting Serum that I got in the I Literally Can't Vox Box. I've been loving it. I've been using it religiously and I'm so sad that I'm out of it now. It makes my skin feel so nice after I apply it right before my moisturizer and it's great. Um, I also love the Garnier Meissler water. It's the one with the blue cap and I have been trying it out and I love it so much. I'm out of it because I got the smaller bottle and not the big bottle. So, egg on my face, but I love it now. All right guys, so another thing I decided to do this year was dedicate an entire notebook to my gold digger notebook. So if you guys haven't been following me long on the magazine, vintage magazine that I write for, I started a series called the Gold Digger series where I talk about how to achieve your goals and staying positive through the ones that feel like they don't want to work out. And so I just took this notebook that I got for my birthday. It's so pretty. And I've been using it as my content planning goal book, just writing down things that I want to do this year and you know how to make them happen and as far as content creations for Wonder World and for everything else and I don't know this book has just become like my baby I would definitely recommend that everyone just get a notebook that they can write down all their goals and stuff in for the year it makes it feel way more tangible and real you know and I've been loving mine so I definitely recommend that but I also recommend you getting you a nice planner and this is mine from Blue Sky Planners. I got it from Walgreens. It was like $8.99. And I put cute little Disney stickers on mine always. But I mean, get your planner. Write down the things that you want to do. Even if they're not concrete yet, put dates down for things that you want to do, places you want to go, and try to make it a reality. I mean, let this year be yours. So what can you expect in Wonder World from me this year? I mean, I would love to tell you guys, but I'm kind of just going with the flow of what I feel. I mean, definitely more beauty content as far as makeup videos actually on YouTube, more consistency as far as my posting. But I mean, I just, I expect for it to be a great year. So I can't really tell you all my little secrets, but it's gonna be a lit year. So my last thing I'm gonna talk about is the book that I read in January. And I read this book to start off the year fresh and positive and just full of good vibes and it is 35 ways to be by dm thompson i actually won it in an instagram contest you can follow the page called my first library and i'll actually find the book and link it down below as well but it's just a lot of it's like a self-help book but not in those terms it's a lot more powerful than a lot of basic self-help books can be so keep that in mind all right guys well that's everything for um our first video of wonder world tv for 2019. i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are just as excited as i am to you know make this year the best year ever 
like all cliches aside like for this to really be our best year i hope you guys are ready for that because i'm totally ready so um thanks for tuning in i cannot wait to see where this year takes us so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe don't let don't, don't leave a girl hanging but um i hope you have you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful week and i'll see you guys later bye